Kevin's car collecting and more. First in the live chat again this morning. Thanks for popping in here, Kevin. Hopefully you are having a good Thursday. Ethan's Elvis covers and more. What's up? All right, Ethan. Nice to see you in here today. I've got your latest package from you. I'll be opening that after I go over the history lesson behind the Los Angeles Angels. The Los Angeles Angels. <laughs> I know some people know them as the California Angels, but I'm pretty sure I'm accurate. I'll double check when we get into the lesson, but I believe they are now called the Los Angeles Angels along with the Los Angeles Dodgers because <laughs> they both play in Los Angeles. But uh, Kevin and Ethan both get entries in coming in at the same time stamp for the live. <laughs> yeah, Kevin says, I still call them the Anaheim Angels. Um, yes, we will see in the history lesson that they did have a few different other parts. Marshall International Ministries, good morning. New person in the stream. And I know Kevin knows who Marshall International Ministries is. Hopefully uh, you are doing well getting your uh, page set up there and getting things rolling along for that ministry page. Howdy, Kevin. So let me get uh let me get Kevin in here first and then I will get uh Ethan into the wheel of names for my July drive. Command. Oh wait. Oops. I think I forgot to do that. Now we'll get in here. Oh there it goes. It was just being slow. And then let me get Ethan's entry into the July drawing. First people to chime in in the live chat is a free bonus entry into my July drawings, along with the other ways to make your entries count. Um, channel members get, uh, get an entry when they log into my stream. And then also my Patreon patrons get a free entry, monthly entry into my streams. All right, let me get Ethan's into the stream here. That's why we have a few minutes. I come on just before my live content. All right, Ethan, Ethan's Elvis covers and more and Kevin's card collecting and more. I have you guys both logged into my July drawing. We're getting close to the end of that. Um, have a few more days to get the seven cards that are going to be given away. It'll be seven rookie debut cards. So, save that. We're saved there, and now we are back. Hello, Nico. Aloha, Kevin. <laughs> uh, Mashal. Okay, Mashal. <laughs> Mashal International Ministries. Forgive me for the mispronunciation. <laughs> There's no R in there. Mashal. Okay, enlighten me. There's got to be... What's the meaning of Mashal? I need to be enlightened so I know how to... Why I'm calling it Mashal. I know it's not Marshall. I can see that now. <laughs> I'm sure there's a reason for Mashal. Is that a biblical, is that a Hebrew or Greek thing? Or just kind of curious. Mashal. If I say it enough times when I say it again, Mashal International Ministries. I'm just going to say it's Mim. M-I-M. Mim. When when I see Mim here, I'll just say, "How you doing, Mim?" <laughs> so boom. So we got about three more minutes here to do some general chatting in the channel before I get into my content. 
Um, you can probably see me in the background because of the 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 angels um, hologram card from uh, 1991 Upper Deck product. Whenever I find the team card for from that series, I do have a whole bunch of these. And we are getting close to from finishing the baseball team history series. So I'll be mixing things up there and probably deciding what to do on Wednesdays. So if there's in any thought process on that for what I should do, not Wednesdays, Thursdays, for my Thursday team histories, uh, I would take uh, any feedback people want to give me. Happy opening, yes, it is opening day for most ball clubs. Tomorrow night at 6, 10 p.m. Sorry, Ethan, but I will be watching baseball. <laughs> uh, I might I might have my phone on in the side in the background taking a peek at your, uh, your sale. I'm pretty sure Ethan's having his Friday sale. You having your Friday sale this weekend, Ethan? Hopefully you are, and if you do, I will try to poke my head in once in a while. But it will, tomorrow is opening day. Who do your Mariners play? Uh, the Houston Astros. We're going to be playing in Houston. So that's why my, uh, the game starts at 6 10. Uh, I believe it's a 4 10 start in Houston. Um, they are playing in Houston. A four game series. They'll be playing Saturday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. They do two. Two away, two away series, and then they come back to Seattle next weekend. Not this weekend, but next weekend um, for our, our home opener. So that will be our home opening day. And word is out on the street from what I've seen, too, is Kyle Lewis is going to hopefully be a terror for us. He's been a terror. He's, he hit uh, four home runs during... Uh, during the uh, inner squad play that they did for practicing for uh, spring training part two, I guess you'd call it. Uh, Michelle is Hebrew and our short stories, proverbs that guide people in the right moral living. There we go. That is cool. That is cool. I'll make it a point to try and get back. I already got notifications on there, but I get I get thousands of notifications a day for for the channels that I'm subscribed to, so I can't follow all of them, unfortunately. Sports lines in the house. All right, we're doing pretty good. We're at 10.30, so I'm going to get ready to start, of course. My order of preference, of course, will be I'm going to go over the baseball team history for the Los Angeles Angels. Then we'll do my family mail call package that I got here from Ethan. Let me kind of set that up there like that. Maybe you guys can see Ethan's name there. Okay, so I will be opening this up next. A couple things I got from Ethan recently. He Ethan is a great help. If you if you're looking for some cards and stuff, he can find stuff for you. Um, he knows I'm working on my uh, rainbow foil collection, of which I'm probably going to put up on my community tab um, the rainbow foil cards that I am looking for, just to see if people can help me uh, complete that series. I'm working on uh, the rainbow foil. I'm trying to get a complete series one and series two for the rainbow rainbow foils, and they can be the 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 base rainbow foil or the gold one. I'm just trying to put a whole set together, whether it's silver and gold or just the silvers. But um, I will get as soon as I got I I got a few more one I think one or one or two more. Um, items coming in for my rainbow foil collection once those come in i will make a list and post it on my com community tab so you guys can if you guys can help me out i would be willing to either trade something for you or or work something out so that uh, i can help uh, get to completing that set and so then after the the history here we'll go into ethan's package and then if we have 10 or more people watching i will open that's my rule because I don't get many people, but I'd like to have at least 10 or more people watching when I do my hobby box opening. Okay, so let's go ahead. Left Behind Times is in the house. How you doing there, Left Behind Times? 
your package went out in the mail first thing this morning. I dropped it off uh, late last night after uh, I went to uh, church. On the way home, I dropped it off at the post office, so it should be coming out your way there, left behind times, okay? All right. Uh, everyone, please support. Ke uh, yeah, if you want, Kevin, you can go ahead and put the link to his channel. Uh, put Since you are a moderator, you can put the link to his channel. That way it's easier for people to find his channel. But, of course, with the name of... Um, let me get it right. Mashal International Ministries. Um, then uh, people have an easier way to get to it. Okay. So then that's what we will have for our plan of attack here. So without further ado, I am going to get into, it's not a super, super long um, history lesson for the Los Angeles Angels, but we will get through it and move on with our other parts of our live stream. So let's go ahead and continue on here. The Los Angeles Angels. The Los Angeles Angels are an American professional baseball team based in the city of Anaheim, California, part of Orange County, and the Los Angeles metropolitan area. The Angels compete in Major League Baseball as a member club of the American League West Division. The club has played its home games at Angel Stadium since 1966. The current MLB franchise was established as one of the league's first two expansion teams in 1961 by Gene Autry. The team's first owner, Autry, was a famous singing cowboy actor in the series of films in the 1930s to 1950s and later was the subject of the Gene Autry Western Heritage Museum. The Angels' name was taken by Autry in tribute of the original Los Angeles Angels, a minor league franchise in the Pacific Coast League, which played in South Central Los Angeles from 1903 to 1957. He bought the rights to the Angels' name from Walter O'Malley, and then Los Angeles Dodgers owner who acquired the PCL franchise from Philip K. Wrigley, also known also the owner of the current Chicago parent Chicago Cubs at the time as part of the Dodgers move to Southern California. So as far as the franchise history, the Los Angeles Angels name originates from the first Los Angeles based sports team, the Los Angeles Angels, who took the name Angels from the English translation of Los Angeles, which means the Angels. In Spanish, the team was named was started in 1892. In 1903, the team name continued in LA through the Pacific Coast League, which is now a minor league affiliate of MILB. The Angels franchise today was established in the MLB in 1961 after former owner Gene Autry brought bought the rights to continue the franchise name from Walter O'Malley, the former. L.A. Dodger owner who had acquired the franchise from Phil Wrigley, the owner of the Chicago Cubs at the time. As stated in the book Under the Halo, the official history of Angels baseball, Autry agreed to buy the franchise name for $350,000 and continue the history of the previously uh, popular Pacific Coast League team as his own expansion team in the MLB. After the Angels joined the major leagues, some players from the Angels PCL Pacific Coast League team joined the major league Angels in 1961. It was an expansion franchise. The club continued in Los Angeles as the Los Angeles Angels and played their home games at Los Angeles Wrigley Field not to be confused with Chicago Stadium in, of the same name, which had formerly been the home of the Pacific Coast Lake Los Angeles Angels. The Angels were one of two expansion teams established as a result of the 1961 Major League Baseball expansion, along with the second incarnation of the Washington Senators, now the Texas Rangers. The team then moved in 1962 to newly built Dodger Stadium, which the Angels referred to as Chavez Ravine, where they were tenants 
of the Los Angeles Dodgers through 1965. The team's founder, entertainer Gene Autry, owned the franchise for its first 36 years. During Autry's ownership, the team made the playoffs three times, but never won the pennant. The team has gone through several name changes in their history, first changing their name to the California Angels on September 2, 1965. With a month still left in the season, in recognition of their upcoming move to the newly constructed Anaheim Stadium in Anaheim at the start of the 1966 season, when the Walt Disney Company took control of the team in 1997. It extensively renovated Anaheim Stadium, which was then renamed Edison International Field of Anaheim. The city of Anaheim contributed $30 million to the $118 million renovation with a renegotiated lease providing that the names of both the stadium and the team contained the word Anaheim. The team was renamed the Anaheim Angels and became a subsidiary of Disney Sports Incorporated, later renamed Anaheim Sports Inc. Under Disney's ownership, the leadership of Ma manager Mike Siosa, the Angels won their first pennant and World Series championship in 2002. In 2005, new owner Arturo Moreno added Los Angeles to the team's name. In compliance with the terms of its lease with the city of Anaheim, which required Anaheim be part of the team's name, the team was officially renamed the Los Angeles, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Fans, residents, and municipal governments of both Anaheim and Los Angeles all objected to the change, with the city of Anaheim pursuing litigation. Nevertheless, the change was eventually upheld in court, and the city dropped its lawsuit in 2009. The team usually refers to itself as the Angels or Angels Bim Market, and the words Los Angeles on the in California tend to omit a geographic identifier and referred to the team as the Angels or the Halos. The Associated Press, the most prominent news service in the U.S., refers to the team as the Los Angeles Angels, the Angels or Los Angeles. In 2013, the team, team was to officially drop of Anaheim from its name as part of a new Angel Stadium lease negotiated with the Anaheim city government. Although the deal was never finalized, as of 2020, the most official sources omit the of Anaheim suffix. However, officially speaking, the club is still officially referred to as the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. On December 20th, 2019, the city of Anaheim voted to sell the stadium and land around it to group to a group land around it to a group led by Arti Moreno for $325 million. Team traditions, the mantra win one for the cowboy, is a staple that is deeply rooted in Angels history for fans. The saying refers to the Angels' founder and previous owner, Gene Autry, who never saw his Angels win a World Series in his 38 years as owner. Years went by as the team experienced many losses and just strikes away from the American League pennants. By the Angels' first World Series championship in 2002, Autry had died, but after winning the World Series, Angels player Tim Salmon ran into the home dugout and brought out one of Autry's signature white Stetson hats in honor of the singing cowboy. Autry's number 26 was retired as the 26th man on the field for the Angels. The Angels Stadium of Anaheim is nicknamed the Big A. It has a section in center field nicknamed California Spectrum. Spectacular, a formation of artificial rocks made to look like a desert mountain in California. The California Spectacular has a running waterfall and also shoots fireworks from the rocks before every game. Anytime the Angels hit a home run or win a home game, the fireworks shoot from the rocks as well. Each game begins with the song, 
Calling All Angels by Train being played accompanied by a video that shows historical moments in team history with an instrument version of Norman Greenbaum's Spirit in the Sky being played during the team's starting lineup announcement. During every Angels home run, they play Brohem by Pennywise, which has been used since 2015. Previous home run songs include Song 2 by Blur, Chelsea Dagger by the Frit. Tellus and Kerncraft 400 by Zombie Nation. Anytime the Angels win a game, the saying, light that baby up, is used in reference to the giant landmark, which is a big 230-foot, 70-meter tall A with a halo surrounding the top, which lights up every time the Angels win a home game. Fans also use the saying, just another halo victory, as the late Angels broadcaster Rory Marcus would say the catchphrase after each win. The Angels organization was the first North American team to employ the use of thunder sticks. The Rally Monkey The Rally Monkey is a mascot for the Angels which appears in all Angels if the Angels are losing a game or if the game is tied from the seventh inning on, but sometimes earlier depending on the situation. The Rally Monkey appears on the scoreboard in various movies or pop culture references that have been edited to include him. The Rally Monkey was born in 2000 when the scoreboard showed a clip from Ace Ventura's pet detective, after which the Angels rallied to win the game. The clip proved to be so popular that the team hired Katie, a white-haired capuchin monkey, to star in the original clips for later games. When seen, she jumps up and down to the house of pain song, jump around, and holds a sign that says Rally Time. The Rally Monkey came to national and worldwide attention during the Angels' appearance in the 2002 World Series against the San Francisco Giants. In the sixth game, the Angels were playing at home, but were trailing the series 3-2 and facing elimination. They were down 5 to nothing as the game entered the bottom of the seventh inning amid fervid Fervid Rally Monkey themed fan support, the Angels proceeded to score six unanswered runs over the next two innings, winning the game and turning the momentum of the series for good when they went on to clinch the championship in Game 7. From 2007 to 2009, the Angels reached the postseason each year, sparking a renewal of the Rally Monkey's popularity. Uh, da, da, da. Uh oh. Hold on a second. Let me do a refresh here and get into the live chat. Sorry about that. All right. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Kevin put the link in there for uh, Michelle. All right. Uh, great. Sounds good. Thanks for getting the package out so promptly. Hey everyone, good to see everybody. Hey, let mine, I might be doing a live stream tomorrow. That is cool, Kevin. Donald and everyone, I've got my first couple of devotions recorded, launching it Monday on my new channel. Thanks for the update on that one, Kevin. I miss your devotions. Uh, music to my ears, Evan. I would love that. I would like, it would be like old times. Are you on Michelle's channel? Kevin, did you see my latest video? Part 2, Old Car City. Old Car City. I'm going to have to check out Left Behind's videos. It's been a while since I've been to his page, too. Sports line, thumbs up. I saw the post, but haven't viewed yet. Definitely on my to-do list. Thanks for the reminder. Zombie Nation, Donald's favorite band. I don't know about that. <laughs> Interesting history on the Rally Monkey. Yes. All right, I think I'm up to date. My computer was behind. Forgive me for not paying attention to the chat earlier. All right. So as far as rivalries, the Angels have developed many rivalries in and also outside their division. They include the New York Yankees, the Texas Rangers, the Oakland Athletics, and the neighboring Los Angeles Dodgers. 
As far as the Texas Rangers, the Angels-Rangers rivalry has been said to have developed over a domination in the division between the two teams. And also in recent years, more, more, more um, animosity between the two teams due to the players to play for both teams, including Nolan Ryan, Mike Napoli, Darren Oliver, Vladimir Guerrero, uh, C.J. Wilson, and Josh Hamilton. In 2012, Wilson played a joke on Napoli, his former teammate, by tweeting his phone number, causing Napoli to exchange words with Wilson. The feuds got back to two incidents between Angels second baseman Adam Kennedy and Rangers catcher Gerald Leard, which led to punches being thrown. The Angels and Rangers have each pitched a perfect game against each other, making them the only pair of MLB teams to have done so. Mike Witt pitched a perfect game for the Angels against the Rangers in 1984 at Arlington Stadium, and Kenny Rogers for the Rangers against the Angels in 1994. Then as far as the Los Angeles Dodgers, the rivalry with the Los Angeles Dodgers has been referred to as the freeway series because of the freeway system, mostly via I-5, linking the two teams' home fields. The freeway series rivalry developed mostly over the two teams sharing similar regions and fans having been split due to neighboring counties. Similar to the Chicago Cubs and the Chicago White Sox rivalry, the San Francisco Giants and the Oakland A's rivalry, or the New York Mets versus the New York Yankees rivalry. And then lastly, as far as game attendance, the Angels have drawn more than 3 million fans to the stadium since 2003, and at least 2 million since 2002, and a game average in 2010, 11, 12, 13 of 40,000 fans each at each game, despite not making the playoffs all four years. This is second in all of MLB, only to trailing the New York Yankees in 2019. The Angels were the fifth MLB, fifth in the MLB in attendance, with a total of 3,019,012 people. As of 2015, the Angels fans have set six Guinness World Records for the largest gatherings of people wearing blankets, uh, wrestling masks, cowboy hats, wigs, Santa hats, superhero capes, and sombreros. They've also set the world record for the largest gathering of people with selfie sticks. In 2009, the Angels were voted the number one franchise in professional sports in fan value by ESPN Magazine. In 2011, ESPN and fan polls by ESPN ranked the Angels number four in the best sports franchise, ahead of every major league team in baseball at number one and also making it number one sports fran- the number one sports franchise in Los Angeles. The rankings were determined through a combination of sports analysts and fan votes ranking all sports franchises by a combination of average fan attendance, fan relations, bang for your bucks or winning percentage over the past three years, ownership, affordability, stadium experience, players' efforts on the field, and likability, coaching, and the title track. All right, so that gives you a brief rundown of the Los Angeles Angels team history. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, Kevin jumped. Kevin, I jumped on Marsh. No, take the R out, Lair left behind. Take the R out. <laughs> it's Michelle's. Michelle's bus. <laughs> Don't feel bad, left behind. Uh, uh, Kevin just scolded me also on that one, okay? I know he won't scold you. He likes you. <laughs> just teasing, Kevin. But uh, yeah, it's Michelle's. Michelle's International Mystery. All right. Thanks for the history lesson. No problem there, Michelle. 
International Ministries? Are you on Left Behind's bus? Hopefully you're on my... No, he is. I'm pretty sure Michelle International Ministries is on mine. But I appreciate all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way for now. Let me scooch this box just over here out of the way for a little bit. So we do have a little bit of space here to go through uh, Ethan's package here. You still with us, Ethan? You still hanging out in the stream for a little bit? Hopefully he's still here as I open up his package. Um, let me put that stand away. Let me get a couple other stands out here because this will kind of get us ready too for... For opening up the hobby box, I think, if we make it. If we get more than 10 people here, when I get ready to open up the hobby box, we will open up the hobby box. Let's see, let me get these stands a little bit over some more. That way we got, I keep forgetting, I gotta make space to for when we open up the hobby box. There we go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and open up Ethan's package here. I don't think there's anything earth shattering in here that I'm aware of. I ordered a few things from him. He knows what I like to PC, so he'll look for, for some items for me sometimes. E Ethan is the man. And that was that was pretty nice there, Ethan, when you, you uh, did your collab there with your local card shop there. That was That was kind of interesting, I thought. Um, there we go. Here. Nothing else in the bag, so we are good to go there. Let me set this off to the side here, and we'll get into Ethan's team bag here that he sent me. Travelers. What is that one? Hmm. Arkansas. Oh, Jared Kelnick. Oh, my word. Is that a short print? Jared Kelnick there? Oh, my word. I don't remember getting that from him. He must... He. Oh, by the way, Ethan will always surprise you with something extra, especially if you're a Patreon member on his channel. Just giving you a heads up on that one. This must be a 2020 Tops uh, short print, is my guess. I could be wrong. But that is so cool. Uh, let me take a peek on these here. Je oh my! Oh wow! This is no. This is some kind of different. Uh, oh, this is from Pro Debut. This is an awesome. Thank you very much there, Ethan. I think Ethan must have took off on us. But Pro Debut. I don't have no Pro Debut. I like the the way, the style and the look of these cards. If you feel them, you can feel the, the ridges. But Pro Debut, that is awesome. Get that there in a, in a uh, penny sleeve. That's pretty good. <laughs> um, then we've got uh, oh, that's that's one of those sleeves. That's that's the larger one for some smaller relics and stuff. But let me get this Kyle Seeger. He's got a Kyle Seeger prism here. I'll probably have to top load all these later. Later. And let me see what do we got here? Okay, we go through this. A Yusei Kikuchi Bowman. He knows I like my Yusei Kikuchis. Especially my Yusei Kikuchi rookie cards. Uh, Evan White for a Bowman. Evan White. I have a sneaky suspicion these are a lot of Seattle Mariners. A Kyle Seeger here. Boom. Another Jared Kelnick with uh, Bowman. Bowman Chrome. All right. Um, the Ken Griffey Jr. Warriors of the Diamond. That's awesome, awesome, awesomeness. Mm. <clears throat> and then uh, significant statistics it's uh, Justin Turner in it Trey Turner I mean Trey Turner with the Washington Nationals 
my bag on that one. Opening day, Kyle Lewis. And a Kikuchi rookie card. Holiday foil or holiday short print with the little the little sparklies. The little sparklies. Put that you say Kikuchi right in the back there. There we go. We got another Jared Kelnick here. Put that with my Jared Kelnick. We got another Yusei Kikuchi Chrome card. Do you like my Kikuchis, that's for sure. And next here we've got up oh, got some more more cards in the the thicker penny sleeves. I gotta figure out where to buy those thicker penny sleeves. Um Warriors of the Diamond, Mike Schmidt. Um Warriors of the Diamond, Tom Glavin. And Warrior of the Diamonds, Willie Mays. And a significant statistics. Uh, solar Barrels, 70. <clears throat> oh, got two of the same. Got two of the same. <clears throat> All right. Then, of course, we did get a Jake Fraley uh, relic. That is cool. Rookie Jake Fraley from uh, Absolute Baseball. This 2020 Panini product, yeah. <clears throat> Do you like that? Ooh, there we go. And a Kyle Seeger. Ooh, let me look at this one first. You say Kikuchi Big Leg. Is this Big Leg 2020? Yep, I do not have any of those yet. Thanks there, Ethan, for that big wig. And a Kyle Seeger relic. Not numbered, but still a relic. I do have, believe it or not, I've got probably more relics of Kyle Seeger than I do have of Ken Griffey Jr. <laughs> but uh, when the price is right, I don't mind picking up cards and stuff. And this is a awesome Kyle Seeger white material rally card from 2017 tops baseball series one so that will go into my seattle mariners rally collection along with this one let's see if i wait i'll get a no wait i think i might have one here i think i might have one here for this guy not that one next size up long doll i finally smartened up and Put a couple of thicker top, top loaders closer by me. Uh, if I can get the right one. <laughs> if I can get the right one. Nope, not that one. Not that one. This one's a little bit thicker. I think this one might work. Oh, gotta go next size up. Next size up. Sorry. Don't mind me. I'm just being goofy. There we go. Put him in there for now. <laughs> I might be done. Okay, that one's there. Uh oh. Behind there. Perfect. Just wanted to make sure it was for him. I'll be sending it out to him shortly with some other goodies. Too bad he doesn't do videos. Would be fun to watch. Call my post office or yours. Oh, um, I know, I know, right? Maybe call them to request a wrong address. Wrong, wrong address package needs to be intercepted and rerouted. Uh, just give them the tracking number and they should be able to reroute it, I think. Um, yeah, there is a possibility if they can check it in the system. Um, it just depends on where it is in the tracking system as far as trying to intercept it. Yeah, you'd have to start with the post office and then um, they can tag that to try and catch it. 
Do you got any Casey Mize, Riley Green, and Spencer uh, Torkelson cards for trade? Um, pretty much there, Dragon Fan Tim. If you send me an email with, um, um, as far as Casey Mize, Riley Green, and Spencer Torkelson, if you want to do that and just, um, okay, Ethan sounds good. <laughs> All right. Yep. When, yeah, it can be done as far as, uh, intercepting a package, but sometimes it is, it is hard. So if it does end up getting, did you just send it to the wrong person in the community there? Um, what could take place there, and sometimes there there may be a charge involved with it, so you just have to see what the post office says if they if if it was just a minor glitch um but if it's a totally different pa person and a totally different a different city that might make it just a little bit more difficult but you uh you never do know for sure, okay. So um, just keep that in mind when you do try to intercept that package. So we got nine people watching so far. We've got nine people watching so far. But thanks there, Ethan, for these. Uh, I was not expecting this uh, Jake Fraley threads card. Do appreciate that. I don't know if that was a bonus. Because I know I did take the uh, Kyle Seeger relic. I knew I wanted that one. But um, let's see. These are, let's see, that's this year, that's this year. I'm tr Sorry, I'm just separating out real quickly my uh, cards for 2019. This is, that's neat how they use the same design here. That is cool, I like that. For the uh, pro debut cards. And then we got Kyle Seeger here and another Kyle Seeger. These will go aside. This statistics can go here. The war cards can go here. And the Evan White. Okay, so these will go off to the side for now. These will go off to the side for... Um, let me just... Real quick. Boom! We got 10 people watching, I see. All right. So what do we got for the timestamp here? 11.04. Oh, now we're back to 9 people watching. All right, so we've got nine people watching right now. So we will kind of wait and see. Oh, now we're back up to 10. Timestamp. I need a timestamp. 11.05. Okay, so if we stay at double digits for at least two minutes, I will commence to opening my next uh, hobby box. I will open up my next hobby box. While we are waiting, we can chit chat around the channel here. Um, he left out one word off my street address. Now, when we look up, tracking says it's still out for delivery. It's been out for delivery for a week. Um, yeah, so if it is in your post office, the easiest way they're left behind would be for you to contact your post office and then see if they can find out the package. And then, if you, um, you should know who your carrier is for your route. So it could be they don't know the exact street it needs to go to because you may have similar streets. So since you, since you said that, he left out one, uh, one word off my street address. There we go. Um, I'll call my post office and let you know what I find out, Ethan. Yeah. So just give them the tracking information and they should be able to try to track down that package if it's at your post office still. So it's been there for a week. And they haven't tried to reach out to anybody. Hmm. But yeah, just call the post office. Uh, give them the tracking number they're left behind. And then uh, should be good to go. Okay, as far as trying to um, get that. Or try and track it down for sure. Sorry, I'm just... Killing some time here and putting some of these cards in some semblance of order for my uh, 2020 Series 2 uh, insert separation. 
But thanks, Sarah Ethan, for that. Appreciate that very much. We do have 11, uh, 12 people watching now. And we do have, the time is right, at uh, 2 minutes being at double digits. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to open up this hobby box here. And we will get to gripping and ripping some more uh, 2020 Series 2. See if I can find uh, some more awesome hits. We'll see who our relic is. Uh, I did. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna check my new theory out. I wish I wish uh, John Fishman was here. I wish John Fishman was with us today. Uh, I love your ring for coffee bell. Oh yeah, I used that there, uh, uh, Michelle, Michelle International Ministries. When I get a good hit, I, I ring the coffee bell. <laughs> you probably recognize where it's from too. There we go. I'll put it this way. That way you can see the Vegas on there. <laughs> you can see the Vegas on there. That's for sure. Um, There we go. Okay. So let me uh, refresh the chat so I know where I'm at. Uh, I thought they would return to me, but nothing yet. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes when they don't know for sure, they, they'll hold on to it to see if anybody will mention that they're missing a package. All right. So we're going to go ahead and commence to gripping and ribbon here. <laughs> cool. And it works. Oh, yes, it does. That is my hit bell. That's my hit bell. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to get into here and start gripping and ripping these. We're going to go through because I've done it so many times in the past. I'm going to go through and open up my uh, my hobby pack first. And we'll see what we get here in the hobby pack. All right. That way I don't forget it at the end of the stream. I always like to do it first. Okay. I'll do that like that. Turn it around and we'll see what we get for hits here. All right. So for our mojo pack, we got, it looks like it is a... Oh my word, it's a Monarchs. Must be a rookie card for somebody. Jorge Soler with the Kansas City Royals with his Monarchs hat on or jersey on. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So it's funny. It don't really say it's his rookie card or anything, but it does show with the Monarchs. Okay. So next in the silver pack. Next in the silver pack, we looks like we've got a can't really see the emblem on the hat. Can't really see the emblem on the hat. Look does look like a San Diego Padre. Tony Gwynn! Boom! That's a hit for Kevin. <laughs> That's a hit for Kevin. That's for sure. That's a hit for Kevin. Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn. <laughs> I was wondering if that was maybe going to be a Gwynn. Tony Gwynn for the San Diego Padres. Hall of Famer Tony Gwynn. All right. Next up to bat here. Next up to bat here, we got a Texas Ranger here. Wow. I wonder if they're going to have the inaugural season logo on here, too. Nope, not on this one. Nick Solak with the Texas Rangers rookie card. All right, so the Nick Solak rookie card for the Texas Rangers. And we've got one more to go. One more to go. Tony Gwynn, he is on this year's roster. Never heard of him. <laughs> That's Hall of Famer Tony Gwynn there, Kevin. He'd be kind of hard to be on the ro roster this year, wouldn't he? All right. And we've got a Cincinnati Red here. 
We've got a Cincinnati Red. Who could it be? Okay, anybody recognize that one? Shogo Akiyama with the Cincinnati Reds rookie card. Shogo Yakiyama. All right. So that took care of our mojo cards. Okay. Um, let me see. How can I do this? Can I? Yeah, I can put a stack in the back here. Because I know I'm going to fill this stand up pretty quick. So I'm going to put my mojo cards right back here on that stand. Just so you guys can see them in the background. And as my usual fashion, let me just get the the wings, I call it the wings of the box opened here, so I don't run into them when I pull the packs out. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm testing a new theory. Okay, I'm testing a new theory. I, I've noticed it in a couple of the boxes. I just want to see if my memory serves me correct. But um, everybody all knows that I'm a, I, I'm always fascinated on how they do the collation and sorting of products into the boxes. Something I've done on and off ever since I was ever since I was a kid, but it wasn't until recently that this year I decided to do uh, lots of product, so I could kind of test my theory here. So one thing we have found in the first five boxes that I did open so far little pointers here okay the first five boxes that I opened um, the second pack down in each stack the second pack down in each stack will can will contain your 2030 cards so if you go to your local card shop and they just opened up a brand new box of 2020 purchase the second pack down if you want to try and complete your your 2030 set because if you Nowhere else in the box, except for the second pack down in each one, does a 2030 card show up. Okay? And then this is another theory I'm testing today. I want to see if it holds true. When we get down to uh, um, pack number 23. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4. I number my packs one, two, three, four each level as we go down. So the next to the last pack on the bottom of the box generally holds the short print card. I'm going to test that theory today when we get down to pack number 23. Okay. And sorry, Ethan, I, do, I don't do speed ripping on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you're aware. So you it, maybe maybe you're working on sorting or or organizing your cards for your sale for this uh for for this Friday for tomorrow, but um I take my time on a box. I enjoy opening them up. <laughs> not that not that I'm saying you do that. I know you do it to just get short videos up. But um that's that's what I do pretty much. So we're gonna get through this first stack and then in each of the second packs down in the stacks you'll see that you get your twenty thirty cards. That that fact I've already discovered. But now we're gonna test my second theory on the on the sorting and collation. Okay, so we are going to get into these. Um, and then when I do sort my cards, I put my rookie cards, uh, future stars, gold cup holders, things of that nature here. The base cards I put here, and all the inserts I put up in the stands. So just in case you're wondering, I'm sure maybe you've watched my videos before, Ethan, but that's pretty much that's pretty much how how how, how I do things on my channel. <laughs> I like to I go through each of the cards. I mean, I'll go through some of these a little bit faster sometimes, but Matt Beatty here with the Dodgers. Um, Jonathan Daza with the Rockies, rookie card. All right. Um, Zach Elfin with the Phillies. Um, Yu Chang with the Indians, rookie card. Um, Michael Kopech with the Chicago White Sox. Uh, Homer Bailey with the Twins, Jose Abreu with the White Sox, Brandon Lowe with the Tampa Bay Rays, future star, uh, Luke Weaver with the Diamondbacks, Chris Taylor with the Dodgers, then we've got uh, Jamie Barria with the Angels, 
Then, of course, right near the end here, boom, that's an awesome all-star card to get. Johnny Bench, Hall of Famer Johnny Bench, catcher for the National League. 85 throwbacks go over here generally. All right, uh, Travis De, De, De Arnaud with the Braves. And Steve Wilkerson, Steve Wilkerson with the Orioles. All right, pack number two. Oh, okay, if I rip my boxes live, I would do the same thing. Well, yeah, you got to enjoy looking at the cards and you get get used to looking at the cards. You know, uh, you learn all kinds of interesting facts. Uh, Darwin's on Hernandez with the Red Sox. Uh, Miami Marlins team card. Um, Joe Eminence with the Tigers. Uh, Joe Ross with the Nationals. Uh, Garrett Stubbs with the Astros rookie card. Uh, Hugh Darvish with the Chicago Cubs. Uh, Mikel Franco with the Royals. Ender Encarte with the Braves. Dexter Fowler with the Cardinals. Brian Goodwin with the Angels. There we go. We got a Tops now. Jordan Alvarez and Pete Alonso. 2019 MLB Rookie of the Year Award winners. All right. Boom. There we go. A 1990s Decades Best. Sometimes, you, on average, you get usually one or two hits of the subset cards in each pack. Uh, 1990s Decades Best team, Teams, Texas Rangers. All right, Decades Best we could put there. Um, Quang Yun Kim with the Cardinals rookie card. And uh, Re Ronaldo Lopez with the Chicago White Sox. All right. But glad you glad you're spending some time here today, Ethan. Appreciate it. Give me some of the viewership. We're down to nine watching. That's par for the course. I usually get my numbers up when I do just over double digits, and I'm happy. Uh, if if somebody reminds me after we, or I I I'll I'll probably tell a little story during 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 the box here. Um, Eddie Rosario um, with the Min uh, Minis Minnesota Twins. With the Minnesota Twins. Um, and then we got uh, Matthew Evaldi with the Red Sox. Uh, Didi Gregorius with the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, Edwin Rios with the Dodgers, rookie card. Uh, Tucker Barnhart with the Reds. Will Smith with the Braves. Um, Nick Castellanos with the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Chris Davis with the Oakland Athletics. Um, Keston Hira with the Milwaukee Brewers, Gold Cup card. Um, Corey Seager with the Dodgers. Uh, Trey Mancini with the Orioles. Got another 85 throwback. Uh, Tim Anderson with the White Sox. 85 throwback card. Then we've got uh, Danny Jansen with the Toronto Blue Jays. And Tucker's or Spencer Turnbull. I don't know who I was saying there with the Detroit Tigers. All right, do a little bit of maintenance here, and after this pack here, I'll I'll tell you what took place on my channel just uh, just yesterday. Not not during a live stream or anything like that. When I was going through, um, just checking on my stats and different information on my channel. Um, I was wondering, I looked at my amount that I supposedly earned through YouTube and stuff, and it just kind of threw me off. I'm like, they should have paid me by now. They should have paid me. Because you know, um, what they do is, and I wasn't totally aware of this because I had not received my first payment from YouTube yet since I was monetized. Luis Severino with the New York Yankees. But let me finish this pack here and I'll finish up this story here. Justin Upton with the Angels. Um, Corey Dickerson with the Miami Marlins. Um, Yanni Chirinos with the Tampa Bay Rays. Then we've got uh, Marcus Stroman with the Mets. Um, Martin Perez with the Boston Red Sox. Uh, Jose Osuna with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Gio Ursula with the Yankees. Luis Rengifo 
with the Angels. Steven Duggar with the Giants. Uh, Renato Nunez with the Orioles. Boom! Warriors of the Diamond, Tom Seaver. Let's put the Warrior Diamonds over here for now. I might mitch, move things around a little bit here. Steven Strasburg with the Washington Nationals. And Charlie Blackman with the Colorado Rockies. All right, so that gets us through our first stack of cards here. All right, let me pop these in a stack right here. So we got through our first four packs. Um, before we get into our 2030 insert cards coming up in the next next layer here, um, it's been a long time since I've checked in. Glad to see you keeping on. God bless. No problem there. Oh, how brother. Oh, how brother. 1679. Appreciate you being here. That's for sure. But yeah, just uh, I'll give you a, a real quick uh, rundown on what's taking place on my channel. Um, so I was looking at my analytics and I'm like, man, I can't figure out what's going on here. I should have plenty enough, plenty enough time. Uh, I got an, well over the $100 threshold, and I'm like, but I don't know how this works. So I was thinking, okay, if, if it's, but then, then I looked at the title here. I looked at the title here. Don't know for sure if you can see this or not. If you're on a computer, it might be big enough. But you can see, um, okay, I got 37,671 views in the last year. I got monetized in January. I have total six, um, 6 6.6 thousand watch hours. I've got, uh, in the last year, I got a total of over 732 subscribers because I did start, it's over a year ago now. So some of the, some of your stuff starts going away. Keep They keep track of your last year and your views and any new views you get you get different things along the way so i looked up there and i'm like i'm over the hundred dollar threshold why haven't i got my first uh payment and then uh it said to go into your google adsense and make sure everything's set up so i did and lo and behold i didn't finish filling out the form when i got monetized and i was thinking man what is going on here so I was looking and looking and I'm thinking, man, I can't figure this out. So long story short, and I won't bore you too much to death here. Um, right now you can see and until you get your first payment, it pretty much um, it pretty much will keep your total estimated revenue. It'll show you up there that that total amount was for the last year. Well, if you go back. Um, if I went back the last 28 days, it still shows the same thing. If I go back the last 90 days, oh, 90 days. So between there and there I did. So if you look, go back since I've been monetized on my channel, this is my total revenue that I would get. And I was like, and this is your estimated revenue. That's after they take their fees out and stuff. So July has not been fully implemented yet. So um, right now, so far in July, uh, oh, wait, not that one. July is almost over, but not quite. So, so far since they paid me out, I do have some money. But just to tell you, I got my first payment from YouTube yesterday and the deposit went into my bank account and I was like, oh cool, I finally made some money after January becoming monetized. So don't think as soon as you get monetized, boom, you're going to get a check pretty quick. <laughs> it takes you a little while, that's for sure. But I've always asked people that and people don't like to share this information. I don't know. Probably the bigger channels because they get much larger checks. But... I got $147 and some change from my first check on YouTube finally yesterday. I posted up into my bank account. So at least I did get some money for my efforts so far. Um, so and then now all I have to do is wait for my estimated revenue to go over uh, above $100 again. And then so every time I reach $100 for my estimated revenue, they'll send me my payment. 
So that is how this works, in case you've been wondering. So without further ado, that was a, a brief commercial interruption there. Let me get back into, I'll just put my dashboard up there. And yeah, by the way, I have 1,125 subscribers on my channel. So I haven't grown exponentially since I became monetized. It's just been a slow grind, but that is fine with me. I enjoy putting up my content that I do, and that's why I enjoy doing what I do. So let me get this back on the break table here. So now in our next step process, just in case you are wondering, um, I'm going to put this here because I'm going to save this spot for my 2030 cards that we'll get here. So in each pa each of these next four packs, we will get a 2030 card. Almost guaranteed. Almost guaranteed. So far, five, my first five boxes I've opened out of my case have turned out this way. So we will see if it continues to hold through. Okay. And then a lot of times about halfway through the box is when you'll get your autograph or your relic card usually. So Nick Anderson with the Tampa Bay Rays uh, Gold Cup card. Um, Johan Camargo with the Atlanta Braves. Um, Carlos Martinez with the Cardinals. Um, Jeff Mathis with the Rangers. Um, Luis Herreras with the Twins Future Star card. Uh, Derek Fisher with the Blue Jays, Frankie Montas with the Athletics, Kyle Tucker with the Houston Astros, uh, Kyle Seager with the Seattle Mariners, <laughs> uh, Rice Hoskins with the Philadelphia Phillies, uh, Marcus Simeon uh, with the Oakland Athletics, and there it is, holding true, boom, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., 2030 insert card. So there we go. Second pack down in the box. There's our 2030 card. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I think I already got one of those, but that's okay. It's always nice to have extras for sales and things coming up in the future. So Dylan Bundy with the Cal with the uh, Los Angeles Angels. And uh, Eugenio Suarez with the Cincinnati Reds. Okay, so next pack for our 2030 card. Let me uh, refresh my chat here real quick so I know where I left off. So let's be on the lookout for card number two, Manny Pena with the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, Joe Musgrove with the Pirates. Uh, Tyler Molly with the Cincinnati Reds. Ryan Baruki with the Blue Jays. We got uh, Chris Shaw with the Giants, uh, Pedro Severino with the Orioles, uh, Corey Kluber with the Rangers, Dustin Pedroia with the Red Sox, Nomar Mazzara with the White Sox, um, Kevin Crone with the Diamondbacks, Carlos Carras Carrasco with the Cleveland Indians. Boom, there we go. We got that Pete Alonzo 2030 card for our Second of four 2030 cards that we'll get out of the box here. Colby Allard with the Texas Rangers. And Clint Frazier with the New York Yankees. All right. Pack number seven in the box. Our third 2030 card coming up here in this round. All right. So next in the stack. Josh Donaldson with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Philly Special, Harper and Hoskins celebrate a home run. All right, Josh Naylor with the Padres. Adam Wainwright with the Cardinals. Um, Ronald Guzman with the Rangers. Zach Plezak with the Indians. Mike Leake with the Diamondbacks. Harold Castro with the uh, Tigers. Uh, Kelvin uh, Herrera. Herrera with the White Sox, um, Tyrone Taylor with the Milwaukee Brewers rookie card. Boom, we got a Rainbow Fall card, Tampa Bay Rays team card, 
for our rainbow foil. And there is our third, not to let us down, Francisco Lindor with the 2030, with the 2030 insert card. And then Jose Ramirez with the Indians and Jason Hayward with the Chicago Cubs. All right, pack number eight. Pack number eight. We will find our fourth and final 2030 card in this pack. Got to run. Take care, everyone. No problem, Kevin. Thanks for popping into the stream here today. Appreciate you being here. Anthony Descloffini. San Diego Padres team card. On a party note for Kevin's card collecting. See you, Kevin. All right. Um, Shinsu Chu with the Texas Rangers. Uh, Adam Hasley with the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, Ryan Zimmerman with the Nationals. DJ Stewart with the Orioles. Um, Matt, or no, Tony Kemp with the Athletics. Um, Eduardo Escobar with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Kevin's car collecting no more. Xander Bogarts with the Red Sox. Jose Rodriguez with the Angels. Tim Lopes with the Seattle Mariners rookie card and our fourth and final boom <laughs> San Diego Padres Fernando Tatis Jr. with that final fourth 2030 card in this box and Logan Webb with the Giants rookie card and Kyle Freeland with the Colorado Rockies rounds out pack number eight in the box do a little bit of housekeeping here that's our first third of the box there and we've got our 2030 cards right where i predicted they would be second pack down in the in each stack is where you find your 2030 insert cards in the hobby box so if you're happening to search for your 2030 insert cards um you'll be able to find Find them quicker if you get the second pack down in a hobby box. Okay, so I'm going to put these 2030s back with the mojo cards right in the back here. That way it'll save me space for some of my inserts coming up. So pack number nine coming up next. Pack number nine. All right, so we got Pittsburgh Pirates team card. All right. Then we've got uh, Southside Swag. Jimenez Anderson celebrate a home run. All right. Uh, Nick Whitgren with the Indians. Uh, Jan Gomes with the Nationals. Brent Suter with the Brewers. Uh, Jed Lowry with the Mets. Um, Scott Heinemann with the Texas Rangers rookie card. Uh, Danny Santana with the Rangers. Mookie Betts with the Dodgers. Uh, Brandon Workman with the Red Sox. Joey Gallo with the Texas Rangers. Um, we got our Decades Best card here for the 1980s. The Dennis Eckersley Hall of Famer. Put you right back there, Eck. Ryan McMahon with the Rockies. And, all right. Next, we've got uh, Marcel Azuna with the Atlanta Braves. Uh, Michael Lorenzen with the Reds. Um, Lou Trevino with the Athletics. James Marvel with the Pirates. Uh, rookie card. Um, Josh James with the Houston Astros. Billy McKinley with the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, Dallas Kuchel with the White Sox. Um, Andrew McCutcheon with the Philadelphia Phillies. Marcus Stroman with the Mets. Martin Perez with the Red Sox. Um, Jose Azuna with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Boom, Miguel Sano with the Minnesota Twins, 85 throwback. Then we've got uh, James McCann with the Chicago White Sox. And Tom Eichelman 
with the Baltimore Orioles rookie card. All right, pack number 11 coming up here in the box. 11 of 24. Anybody got some big plans coming up for the upcoming weekend? Just kind of curious. Roll out the barrel. Brewers Outfield celebrates. And then we've got Brock Burke with the Texas Rangers rookie card. All right, we got Sergio Romo with the Twins. Nate Lowe with the Rays. Steven Vogt with the Diamondbacks. Lucas Sims with the Reds. Um, Charlie Morton with the Tampa Bay Rays. Steven Beralt with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Christian Walker with the Diamondbacks. Uh, Walker Bueller with the Dodgers. Rick Porcello with the Mets. Boom. Significant statistics. Mazzara max home run disc distance 505 feet. Oh, my word. Somebody from the Nationals uh, just just tested positive with COVID just before the season started. My word. Um, boom. Tough. Tough break there. No more Mazzara. Significant stats. We'll put them right there. I keep Tom Seaver up in the front for now. Um, Dom Nunez with the Colorado Rockies. Rookie card. And Ivan Nova with the Tigers. All right, pack number 12. Halfway mark in the box. Got our halfway mark in the box here. Halfway through the, the box. Oh, I like this one. I got the rainbow foil of this one, too. It looks sharp in rainbow foil. Bama Brothers, Cruz and Sano celebrate a home run t home run title. Um, the uh, Threes Company, Andrus and Calhoun welcome Gallo home. All right, Philip Irvin with the Reds, uh, Tresco Hernandez with the Blue Jays, um, J T Zook with the Blue Jays rookie card. Um, Justice Sheffield with the Seattle Mariners. All right. And then uh, Paul DeJong with the St. Louis Cardinals. D. Gordon with the Seattle Mariners. Brian Reynolds with the Pirates. Gold Cup card. Then we've got Kevin Kramer with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Mike Miner with the Texas Rangers. Aaron Judge with the All-Star card 85 throwback. Aaron Judge. Uh, Rio Ruiz with the Baltimore Orioles. And Albert Pujols with the Angels. There we go. So do a little bit of housekeeping real quick here. That is the halfway mark in the box. Okay. Let me scooch this over just a hair. Kind of leave them in the, in the corner there so you can see them. I'll have to make room for our last stack here coming up. All right. So this is pack number 13. Moving into the second half of the box here. Oh. All right. Toronto Blue, Blue Jays team card. Uh, James Kyron Jack rookie card for the Indians. Sorry about that. Threw me off there. Josh Reddick with the Astros. Uh, Martin Maldonado with the Astros. Uh, Tucker Barnhart with the Reds. Uh, Will Smith with the Braves. Nick Castellanos with the Reds. Chris Davis with the Athletics. Keston Hira with the Milwaukee Brewers. Gold Cup card. Um, Trey Mancini with the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, Corey Seager with the Dodgers. Home run challenge card. Bryce Harper with the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, let's see. I was trying to think what else I normally put there. Put that one back here for now for the Bryce Harper. Uh, Michael Taylor with the Washington Nationals. And Victor Robles with the Washington Nationals Gold Cup card. 
right. Pack number 14. Uh, Detroit Tigers team card. Uh, Arizona Diamondbacks team card. Uh, Yandy Diaz with the ten with the Rays. Sam Tuviala. <laughs> I always probably say it wrong. With the Seattle Mariners. I'm gonna listen to the broadcasters when they when they say his name and see how they pronounce it. See see how close I'm getting with it. Um with the Seattle Mariners. Juan Soto has Corona and will not play tonight. Just announced. Yep, that's what I thought. I thought. Uh, let's see, is Soto with the Nationals, right, Ethan? I just had an alert on my phone because I get the MLB alerts and stuff. Uh, they also announced the the thirty man roster for the for the Seattle Mariners. I'll check that roster list out after a little bit here. Yep, that's what I thought it said. It said, I thought it was Soto. I just didn't want to say the wrong name. But Gio Ursula um, with the Yankees. Um, Luis Rengifo with the Angels. Steven Duggar with the Giants. Renato Nunez with the Orioles. Ryan Zimmerman with the Nationals. DJ Stewart with the Orioles. Um, Tony Kemp with the Oakland Athletics. Boom, we got our first gold card. Oh, wow, is that a miscut? Can't remember if that's a miscut or not. It might be slightly miscut. No, maybe not. Maybe not. But it is. Um, it's just the way the the border looked on the bottom there. I guess because it was a the horizontal card. Uh, sixteen nineteen out of twenty twenty. Sixteen nineteen out of twenty twenty. Let me put the gold card right there. And then uh, Kian Wong with the Giants rookie card and. Joey Wendell with the Tampa Bay Rays. All right. Pack number 15 in the box. That's a tough break when that happens. Now I wonder, do they just make him sit out for two weeks? So he can't play now that he's got a shelter in place or whatever they want to call it. Hopefully he doesn't end up up. Oh, I think we got our hit. I think we got our hit coming up. Isaiah uh, Kiner Fiella with the Texas Rangers. And then uh, Alex Dickerson with the Giants. All right. Um, Adam Atavino with the New York Yankees. Um, Carter Keyboom with the Nationals. Future star. Um, Brandon Nimmo with the Mets. Uh, Ozzy Albies with the Braves. Austin Slater with the Giants. Jorge Soler with the Royals. Uh, Guy Giancarlo Stanton with the Yankees. And boom! Jorge Soler with the Kansas City Royals. Relic. We got our relic. So we got our, our hit. Set that down here for now. Freddie Freeman with the Braves. And... Um, Mike Fultonwitz with the Braves. Okay. Let me get this into a, a sleeve quick here. All right. Get that into a sleeve. And into a... I think I can use the thinner style here on this one. Maybe. We'll see. I think so. I think it'll go in there. Boom. There we go. Kansas City Royals. Designated hitter and outfielder. Boom. Jorge Solar is our hit for the box. Our hit for the box. Okay, pack number 16 or 18. Wait. Yeah. I don't know. 
We got eight more packs left in the box. Yeah, pack number 16. What am I doing? I was, I was saying it, right? Confusing myself sometimes. Rich Hill with the Twins. Boom. Justin Dunn with the Seattle Mariners rookie card. All right. Um, Cam Gallagher with the Kansas City Royals. Um, Ross Stripling with the Dodgers. Freddie Galvis with the Reds. Will Smith, Gold Cup card with the Dodgers. Uh, Michael Kopech with the White Sox. Uh, looks like Homer Bailey with the Twins. Jose Abreu with the White Sox. We got some black coming up here. Uh, Brandon Lowe with the Rays, Future Star. Uh, Luke Weaver with the Diamondbacks. And we got a Nick Wick Green, Cleveland Indians, black. Short print, 29 out of 69. Cool card on that one. Get that one into a penny sleeve real quick. Twenty nine out of sixty nine. It's just a, a variation card. It's not a short print or anything, but it, it's it's a serialized card, so that kind of makes it a short print. But it's just not coded as a uh, short print, coded as a variation card, because it has the ninety nine on the end. But at least they do put color to them, so they do stand out and stuff. So that makes it nice. That they do do that on the carts. Boom. Then we got Shed Long with the Seattle Mariners and Eurixson Profar with the Padres. Okay. We got two more stacks to go of cards here. And again, the next to the last pack on the bottom here should contain our short print if that holds true. That way, next time you go to your local card shop, Ethan, you can, if they open, if you can buy some uh, some hobby packs out of a box, as long as it hasn't been searched already by somebody grabbing the second stack down and the last stack on the bottom before the end of the box. Kevin Gossman with the San Francisco Giants. I'm not saying you would do that at your local LCS. Jordan Hicks with the Cardinals. Um, Jake Cave with the Twins. Manuel Margot with the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Ronald Guzman with the Texas Rangers. Zach Plezak with the Cleveland Indians. Mike Leak with the Diamondbacks. Harold Castro with the Tigers. Um, Kelvin Herrera with the Chicago White Sox. Um, Tyrone Taylor with the Brewers rookie card. Um, Stephen Voigt with the Nash with the Diamondbacks, and Garrett Cole with the New York Yankees '85 throwback. Garrett Cole. That with the rest of the '85s there. Jose Altuve with the Astros, and Elvis Andrus with the Texas Rangers. Pack number eighteen. Pack number 18 in the box. We got uh, Emmanuel Clace with the Indians rookie card. Uh, Ronnie Rodriguez with the Brewers. Um, Rowan Wick with the Cubs. Boom! We hit him again. Lewis Robert with the Chicago White Sox rookie card in the house. Lewis Roberts. Lewis Roberts. Let me get that into a penny sleeve right away. Boom, the Lewis Roberts. Put that one up there on the stand for now. He will be out at least two weeks. Yeah, exactly. Eduardo Escobar with the Diamondbacks. Xander Bogarts with the Red Sox. Um, Jose Rodriguez with the Angels rookie card. Tim Lopes with the Seattle Mariners rookie card. J uh, TJ Zook. With the Toronto Blue Jays rookie card, Justice Sheffield with the Seattle Mariners. 
Paul DeJong with the St. Louis Cardinals. And we got our war card is Cody Ballinger with a war of 9.0. Put him behind Louis Roberts here for now. Louis Robert. Louis Robert. Louis Robert. <laughs> Cole Hamels with the Atlanta Braves. I was saying it differently earlier in the year. I was insistent on it had to be the French pronunciation. <laughs> the Braves new found world with Albies and Acuna celebrate a Braves win. All right. Pack number 19 here. Pack number 19. Is the uh, the Chris Bassett with the Oakland Athletics? And then we've got the the Glenn Sparkman with the Royals. Then we've got uh, Edwin Diaz with the Mets. Um, Griffin Kenny with the Angels, future star. Uh, Archie Bradley with the Diamondbacks. Blake Snell with the Rays. Austin Hayes with the Orioles, Ryan O'Hearn with the Royals, Ian Happ with the Cubs, uh, Miguel Andujar with the Yankees, Jonathan Shoup with the Tigers, Robin Yount, Hall of Famer Robin Yount with the All-Star 85 throwback, uh, Scott Oberg with the Rockies, and Ramiel, Ramiel? Tapia with the Colorado Rockies. All right, pack number 20 in the box. All right. So we got uh, Aldemis Diaz with the Astros. Um, Harrison Bader with the Cardinals. J.D. Davis with the Mets. Austin Voth with the Nationals. Uh, Chris Taylor with the Dodgers. Um, Jamie Bar Barria with the Angels. Um, Luis Arreras with the Twins, future star. Uh, Derek Fisher with the Blue Jays. Frankie Montas with the Athletics. Kyle Tucker with the Astros, future star. Kyle Seeger with the Seattle Mariners. Tim Lincoln, Decades Best Award winner for the 2000s with the San Francisco Giants. Tim Lincoln. All right, and then uh, New York State of Mind, Judge and Sanchez rise up during the ALCS. And Mark Melancon with the Atlanta Braves. Okay. Moving on to now the last stack in the box. The last four packs. Pack number 21. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Um, Eric Lauer with the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, Dal Lugo with the Tigers. Um, Tommy Cal Calm, can can I'll say Canley, Canley, with the New York Yankees. Probably said that wrong. Do Randy Dobnek with the Twins rookie card. Um, Lucas Sims with the Cincinnati Reds. Um, Charlie Morton with the Tampa Bay Rays. Stephen. Barut with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Christian Walker with the Diamondbacks. Walker Bueller with the Dodgers. Rick Porcello with the Mets. Brandon Nimmo with the Mets. Future Stars Brandon Lowe. Gold card with the Tampa Bay Rays. And that one is 914 out of 2020. 914 out of 2020. That gold card can go there. And then Tony Walters with the Colorado Rockies. And 
Avasail Garcia with the Brewers. All right. All right, do a little bit of a housekeeping quick here. Straighten up these stacks. We're getting a little bit unruly. Let's look a little bit neater here. Pack number 22. Nice, Lewis Roberts. <laughs> what did you do? Did you step away there, Ethan? For a while, did you miss it when I rang the bell for him? Jake Bowers with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Sean Newcomb with the Braves. Uh, Cole Tucker with the Pirates. Uh, Josh Stalmont with the Royals, rookie card. D. Gordon with the Seattle Mariners. Brian Reynolds with the Pirates, Gold Cup card. Um, yeah, sir. <laughs> no problem. No problem. It was fun. I think he was the third card down in the pack when I opened it. I'm like, Lewis Robert. Kevin Kramer rang the bell for him. Uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, uh, Mike Miner with the Texas Rangers. Uh, Freddie Galvis with the Reds. Will Smith with the Dodgers Gold Cup card. The war card is Max Scherzer with a war of 8.7. That back there for now. Oh, two hits. Jeff Mathias with the Texas Rangers. Rainbow Fall card. And then Nick Ahmed with the Diamondbacks. And Eric Cosmer with the Padres. So to end that pack, uh, Diamond Arizona and a Padre. Okay, let's see if my, my assumption... And what I remember from my prior box openings, that if we do receive a short print in this box, I think you almost get one short print per box. We should get an upside down card in this box. All right, we got Hinjin Ru with the Blue Jays. All right. Then we've got uh, Aaron Barrett with the Nationals. We've got Lorenzo Kane with the Brewers. Fran Barreto with the Athletics. Um, Iri Adrianza with the Twins. Wade Miley with the Reds. Wilson Contreras with the Cubs. Um, Elvis Lu Lu Luciano with the Blue Jays. Um, Jake Odorizzi with the Twins. Kevin Kiermaier with the Rays. I think we may we might have our backwards card. Tyler Chatwood with the Chicago Cubs, and we do. And it is Jose Altuve's short print card. Boom. Awesome. Awesome sauce. So yes, it looks like the next to the last pack in the bottom of the box is where your short print pack is. So that means I got six more boxes to go. I'll get at least six more short prints. This one is a 115, which is an SSP. The 116 is the SSPs. And then if you do get the super, super, super short, if you get the super, super short print, the SSSP, that will have 117 on the back. I'm pretty sure they're serialized. But cool there for the Jose Altuve. Super short print. Just a short print, not a super short print. Sorry. No. Did I do that? No, this is the way I want these. It's just for my filing system, the way I do it. But there we go. We'll put our short print. We're almost done here. I'll put Jose Altuve right in the back there. We only got one more pack to go. Gio Gonzalez. Gonzalez with the White Sox and Colton Wong with the Cardinals. Okay, last pack in the box. Hopefully we get maybe um, a another good hit in the last pack in the box here. Never know. Probably not. Usually sometimes the last pack you don't get any any good cards. I guess that's the fallback for the short print, the next to the last pack. Byron Buxton with the Minnesota Twins. Um, Garrett Hampson with the Rockies. 
Um, Chad Green with the New York Yankees. Uh, Junior, Junior Fernandez. Uh, rookie card. Uh, Marcus Simeon with the Athletics. Rice Hoskins with the Phillies. Brent Suter with the Brewers. Jed Lowry with the New York Mets. Um, Danny Santana with the Texas Rangers. Uh, Mookie, Mookie Betts with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Brandon Workman with the Red Sox. Joey Gallo with the Texas Rangers. Um, Howie Kendrick with the Washington Nationals. And Miguel Rojas with the Miami Marlins. So there, I just noticed that again. Um, the last pack, usually you don't get any inserts. Does that make sense? <laughs> the last pack, you don't get any inserts. But interesting. Interesting nonetheless. So let me uh, do a little bit of housekeeping here. Um, put this off to the side here in the box. I will sort through these, make sure I didn't miss any short prints or variation cards, advanced stack cards. Sometimes you find an advanced stack card and it'll catch you off guard because the only thing you know that it's an advanced stack card is by the back. So we'll put all these base cards in here. These are the these are the stack of uh, rookies, future stars, and gold cup cards in here. And we will, real quick, do a recap of everything I got in as far as uh, the inserts here. As far as the insert and subset cards that you can find in this box, we'll go through the mojos again. You got Shogo Akiyama of the Reds. Um, Nick Solak with the Rangers rookie card. Then you got the Tony Gwynn San Diego Padres mojo card and the Ore Solar with the Royals mojo card. All right. And then, of course, our next highlight that I'll go over is the 2030 cards that are in here. Um, the Fernando Tatis Jr. 2030 card. The Francisco Lindor 2030 card. The Pete Alonso 2030 card. And the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 2030 card again the 2030 cards in a hobby box are the second pack down in each stack so predictable i don't know why tops did that but that's pointers for qa in that realm uh, a few cards here we got a lewis robert card rookie card we got a warriors of the diamond tom siever a warriors of the diamond cody bellinger and a warriors of the diamond max scherzer Okay, then we did get a few cards here. We got a Jose Altuve short print card. We got two gold cards, a future star card for Brandon Lowe, and a Sheldon Noose with the Oakland A's for our gold cards. We did get a Bryce Harper uh, home run challenge card, a Mazzara. Uh, max home run distance 505 feet for significant stats card and a top snail card. Jordan Alvarez and Pete Alonzo. All right. And in this stack here, we got some of our rainbow foils and decades best. Okay. Our rainbow foil cards. We got, oh, that's, that's, that's actually a variation card here. Serialized, short print. 29 out of 69. Nick Whitgren with the Cleveland Indians. All right. Then we got two rainbow foils out of this box. Jeff Mathias and Tampa Bay Ray team cards for our rainbow foil cards. Then for our decades best, we got three. Uh, 1990s decades best Texas Rangers teams. 1980s decades best pitcher Dennis Eckersley, and 2000s, so 80s, 90s, and 2000s, Decades Best Award winners, Tim Lincecum with the San Francisco Giants. So that's those there. Our big hit in the box, your 
guaranteed an auto or a relic. We got a relic or a solar with the Kansas City Royals. Designated hitter and outfielder with a white swatch there. And our 1985 throwbacks, we got Robin Yelp, outfielder, all-star card. Yankees, Garrett Cole, pitcher. Uh, Aaron Judge, outfielder, American League, all-star card. Uh, Miguel Sano with the Minnesota Twins, third baseman. Um, Tim Anderson, White Sox, shortstop. And Johnny Bench, Hall of Famer. Along with the Robin Young here, two Hall of Famers. Uh, catcher for the National League, All-Star card. So that is a recap of our hits for the box and subsets. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video today. Let me go ahead and uh, get ready to say my signature goodbye here. Turn the camera around. Give you my sign off, and we will be done for today. So, this has been Donald Blondahl, Hall of Fame Veteran Sports Cards and Collectibles. Having been with you live this Thursday morning here for our baseball team history of the Los Angeles Angels. Angels, we did do a uh, fa family mail call package. We opened up Ethan's package. He sent me this last week. Um, opened up that earlier and then we opened up this 2020 baseball series 2 hobby box uh, this was box number 6 of 12 I don't know why I put 15 on there I gotta edit that that's an error there's not 15 boxes in a in a case there's 12 boxes in a case Blumdahl box 6 of 12 so I'm halfway through my case halfway through my case so other than that, you guys, uh, Criterium Racer, thanks, no problem. Appreciate you all being here with me today, sharing this day with me. Um, and you guys take care. Have a great and wonderful day. May the Lord bless you in your travels and keep you safe along the way. Okay, so until next time, we will see you guys tomorrow for Hall of Fame Fridays. That's for sure. And until then, take care, Lord bless you, and have a nice day.